King of the Slums, MC Busby, Kit and others. Snub talked to him at the Hacienda about Manchester and music. A lot of the music made in Manchester at the moment, I would say, owes very little to any music that was made in Manchester in the past. Um, and that, the, and that in fact, influences are very wide. And in fact, the worst kind of Manchester groups do exist. And unfortunately, you know, Manchester does have, have more guitar bands per square inch than any other country. But um, the better ones, I think, stand on their own. Is that what, um, I mean, is that what Play Hard's sort of reflecting? Because Play Hard's got such an eclectic sort of roster. Yeah, Play Hard is almost as if we, we sat down and said we're not going to have any bands that sound similar in any way. Um, I, I mean, I think that, that independent music itself is diverse at the moment. And the, the things that Republic Records do or Rhythm King Records do are obviously very different to the things that Intape or, or, or a label like that would do. And that Play Hard merely combines all those into one label. I think if I'd done any market research, or if I'd talked to anyone who ran an independent label, I'd have realised it was a bad idea in a sense. But because I, I, I really wanted to do it, and, I, and you know, I loved the idea, I just plunged, plunged head, head, headlong into it. The idea of independence, I think, is very important. And certainly when you, and it, in a way it needs defending that old idea of a band who are kind of idiosyncratic and marginalised and a bit odd, but very honest. That's, that's a brilliant spirit. Manchester's very much a divided area. And that you can go, in Manchester you can, you can drive or walk or whatever through two or three miles and see completely different types of environment. And in that way it's almost like a microcosm of, of, of Britain. And I think one of the things which annoys me about people saying how great local music is, is that eventually they sound like a Thatcherite talking about inner city regeneration. You know, never mind that we've got poverty, never mind that there are, there are people who have to queue all day on a Monday to get some stale bread because that's the only food they're going to eat that week. We've got wonderful guitar bands. It produces great art. Yeah, great art. Centred round the vocals of Charlie Keeger and the violin of Sarah Curtis, King of the Slums should be one of the most noticed of new bands. Filmed live in Manchester, this is the title track of Vicious British Boyfriend, their new 12-inch EP. Thank you. 
Check my 